Prue, let's uh, talk about this uh, new legislation that's being proposed by Labor. Digital platforms could be penalised for spreading so-called misinformation and disinformation online. The new change would give ACMA the power to issue penalties of up to $6.88 million. I mean, this is a deeply, deeply sinister anti-free speech move. We've seen in the past three years in particular that what is considered dangerous disinformation today can be a tr absolute truth the day after. I mean, what what is the goal here and what do you think about the notion that this move is really being driven by a desire to silence or at least dampen opposition to The Voice? Well, I think we'd have to be suspicious of that, Rita, because when governments want to overreach, as this one does, and ironically, the same government that spread so much misinformation and disinformation during its mm. campaigns and uses the, the digital, the online media as one of its main channels for doing this, you have to cock an eyebrow, don't you? Look, I think anybody now realises that you enter at your own risk when you go into digital media. And if you haven't got the appetite, the mentality to discern the difference between truth and misinformation, and it's getting harder, I know, with AI, etc. cetera, um, I think you have to, you know, abandon it, not use it as much. But it really concerns me. Who is going to monitor the people who decide, de decide oh. what we should see? You know, it's just unbelievable that you would think it's Zuckerberg or, you know, whoever's behind Instagram and TikTok, which, you know, as we know is China, are going to suddenly be the arbiters of what we can, uh, you know, read uh, or use as a voice. So I think it's it's fraught with danger and I would have grave concerns if this is pursued. But who knows? We've got a government that's intent on trying to control everything and step into our lives. Oh, you can be 100% sure the censors, the so-called fact-checkers, are leftist activists, as they have exactly. been thus far. Like, nothing's going to change. They're just going to, under this legislation, have far greater powers and, uh, and the ability to issue these massive fines. This is something that should get people marching in the streets. Of I course, agree. the left will embrace it because they hate free speech. They like any measure that silences uh, dissent. But this is just something that is banana republic stuff. This should not be happening in Australia.